Oh, okay, we're not gonna play whatever that song was. Holy shit! I don't know what the fuck was about to ba was about to happen just now. All right, so hey guys, apparently there's some drama tonight. Oh shit, drama, son. Okay, let me click some things, make sure things are happening. Okay, all my stuff is there. What's the code for? Uh, it's it's fake gamer girls emote. So apparently, all right. So let me recap what I know, and I'm not gonna go too deep into this because we'll do a little bit of a united front. Do a little bit of a united front on this one. So here's what I know. <clears throat> the podcast awards happen tonight. Podcastawards.com. This is the 11th Podcast Awards. Oh my God, so much history. So they posted on their site this. So apparently there was people, people won. The voting's been going on for a while. To me, I don't know. Things seem to be going as as they should go for something like this. If you're going to make an, first of all, if you're going to make an awards show and you're going to have the award decided by people voting on an internet system then you need to make very specifically clear what the rules are of said system. You cannot then decide later that you didn't like the fucking awards and how they went and who won. Because you made a system, and then people fucking voted in your system. You don't get to just go back later and be like, Oh, God, wait a minute. This is unfair. The awards that we... Or the, the rules that we set forth clearly aren't fair. Uh, yeah, that... No. Okay. First of all, that's, that's first and foremost. Um... They did the same last year. Yeah, okay, sure. What, what does that mean? Are you saying that the system they used, they used last year, so it's fine? Or they changed their minds at the end last year? So, first of all, they did. They came in this year saying uh, that we can't nominate Coverville, the instance, people who have won too many times. So you have an awards show that punishes popularity. Okay. So making good quality shit isn't actually what matters to this awards show. So what is the fucking purpose of this awards show? What exactly is the purpose of this awards show? Someone please keep, like clue me in. Are they trying to build the popularity of podcasting in general? Or are they just trying to reward people that they know and like? Because we, we have no affiliation with this. We don't. We get nominated, whatever. We hear we're nominated, okay. What are the rules? How does this work? How does this work? Oh, the fans vote. Okay, well, let's tell our fans to vote. Th does, that, does that sound nefarious? Does this sound like a thing that we're doing? Like, do I give a shit about this enough to care? I asked, we asked as a show, our fans to vote. Some of the people that we podcast with, we have a network. We all podcast together. We said, hey, you know what? We should ask people to vote for people that we like too. Because we all like each other. Seems very simple. If you want podcast insiders to vote or maybe you decide on a certain number of people and they vote fine fucking do it but what you're trying to do here is create a thing and then get all these podcasts that are very popular to send people to your site well guess what we fucking did that we sent people to your site <laughs> okay 
Now, now, apparently, that's not good enough. Here we go. The voting tool, which facilitated expedited voting for a group of shows, while not illegal, was surprising. Hmm. We will leave it up to the podcast community at large to discuss. Really? Are you leaving this up to the podcast community at large? Where is the link to where I where I uh, engage in this conversation? Where where is this link? Or or are you being super cryptic and weird again so that we all fucking talk about your site? Is that what's going on here? I get a sense that they just want people to come to their site and talk about them. This is some stirred up bullshit drama so that we fucking talk about the podcast awards and look what I'm doing. I'm doing it. I'm falling for it, but I'm falling for it because I'm going to fucking tell you guys that this is all fucking bullshit. All right. No awards process is perfect. Well, certainly not yours. And we are quite positive. These actions will invoke significant changes down the road to the awards voting. I'm here's here. I'm going to make this guess. I'm going to make this guess right here. Here's my guess. These actions will invoke this significant change to this awards voting. No one's ever going to fucking care ever again about your dumbass awards. <laughs> all right. That's going to be the significant change. There you go. There you go. Congratulations. We will significantly change how little we care about this fucking podcast award. I personally, look, I remember the first year the instance won it and I was like, that's cool, man. Look at that. That's a show I like, dude. I love that show. They won an award. That's cool. I like podcasting. I want to be a podcaster. Maybe I can win an award too. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And then I remember the year I was on the instance and we won. And I was like, ah, oh, yeah, whatever, man. I guess we just win all the time, huh? That's how it works now. And then this year, The Angry Chicken was nominated. And I was like, wow, that's a show I, cr I helped create. That's, the sh that's a show I helped create, man. That would be cool if we won as The Angry Chicken. Because we helped create that. Like, I made that show. I made that show with Garrett and Jocelyn. It was cool, man. I'm fucking proud of that show. I'm fucking proud of that show, you know? I'm proud. I'm so proud of the show we made out of thin air. We just, just, no show existed. And boom, three of us get together. Bumpers, intros, content. What do we do? Talk about stuff. Build the fan base. All the things. All the work. Two and a half, three years of work. I'm proud of this show. Oh my god, they're gonna they're gonna award us that too. Oh well, how does this work? Oh, get our fans to vote. Well, we should do that. We should do that because it'd be really fun if we could win an award. And then guess what? We win the award, and the awards process clearly isn't perfect. I can't believe these these people that I didn't want to win won. How did this happen? How could this possibly happen? Could it be that we just have a lot more fans? Well, could it be? Could it be? That can't be. That can't be. That's ridiculous. Apparently Jocelyn's tweeting. I got to read these tweets. I'm excited to see what Jocelyn has to say. Let's go. Let's look it up. Joss plays. Joss plays. Okay. All right, let's read some of Joss's tweets. I'm excited for this, actually. There are more people that care about attack than people that care about PCA. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, winners aren't allowed to win. Fuck that. Yeah, that's true. So, all right. So, look. Here's, here's the games and hobbies section. All right, so we're up against... The Cigar Federation, D&D is for Nerds, From the Helicarrier, Rage Against Rage Select Podcast, Rusty Quill, NX Press, Voice of the Transformers Club, Tribbles in Ecstasy, Trivial Warfare. I have nothing against any of these people. 
I look, I'm sure that these are fantastic podcasts, all deserving of recognition, and they were nominated. But I've not seen a single one of these at the top of the iTunes list. And apparently being at the top of the iTunes list is just some fucking bullshit. We don't deserve whatever. We don't deserve to to win this award. All right, man. Whatever, dude. All right. So let's see. Joss starts here. I'm very curious to see what she says. Okay. So all right. Get ready to slash ignore me from a 5 to 10 if you don't want to see podcast awards thoughts because... I am a little upset. That's a great way to start, Joss. I'm, I'm on board already. If you create an awards show with voting based on having a dedicated, active, and motivated fan base, you can't vilify people for having that. Seems like solid points. It was never right to say certain shows are ineligible because they have won too much. I would have loved to see TAC versus The Instance. I would have too. That would have been quite fun. Once you take shows out of the running, you have people who are fans of both those shows and the awards who want to vote for someone. Maybe they discovered new shows as a result. Maybe they had never heard of who they were voting for, but you created the system. And what matters is that these fans were so fierce and passionate they voted every single day. It is completely wrong to say the shows that won don't deserve to. We make great content, damn it. We work hard and have the best fans going. Damn true. You can take your award and you can shove it up your ass because our fans have spoken and tag podcast rocks no matter what you say. I'm going to go ahead and just like that one. I'm done till Tuesday when you can bet we will address this on our tiny, undeserving, you've probably never heard of it show. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to favorite that one too. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I enjoyed that. <laughs> I enjoyed that quite a bit. Uh, I echo all these sentiments. I echo all these sentiments. So how how did this happen? Exactly. I'm still trying to put all the pieces together. But here's Podcast Awards. They have a Twitter. They tweeted out five hours ago. It's almost time. Did we just Best Yo, Torx, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the team. I appreciate having you around, my friend. All right, so they tweeted out, it's almost time to hand out some podcast awards. Then they said, stream is live. No audio until we start the show. Okay. And they're trying to create like a, a hashtag. We should click on that too and see what, what's, what's in there. Then, two hours later, all winners are currently on hold due to live awards show voting scandal that was exposed. What? A voting scandal? Oh, God. It's a scandal. I'm scandalized. Are we all scan? We're all scandalized. Oh, my God. By the way, this seems like very excited to like... Ah! All the words are on hold. All the words are on hold. Um, Beef Viper, you posted a link, which doesn't work. Cause I'll open it off stream. We'll see what this is. Ah, yes, yes. I was gonna get to this guy. I was gonna get to that guy too. Thank you, Beef Viper. Uh, then we've got here a conversation apparently with someone named Bobcat. Um, please at least learn about site before believing some sour grape accusations. Not auto vote website. People voted legit each time. Podcast awards. We will find out. And here we got it. Here comes this guy. Ivan Therolt. You vote for one. It votes for all is not a proper voting. Ah, okay. So he, so he, now, now he brings up. Hatting the system. This is the website. I don't even know who fucking made this. I, I really don't. Oh, but this, okay. So this is a joke because Brian Ibbett was wearing a hat last year and the, he won all the awards and people were like, who the fuck is this guy? Why is he winning all the awards? He wasn't winning all the awards. He was accepting all of the awards because we're all fucking friends, right? So here you go. 
You can vote once every day. Let's go back tomorrow. I'm lazy. This is for me. Four weeks to click. I remember. Bad deal. We can't do it for you. It would be cheating. What? We even put it on there. Whoever made it. I don't know who made the site. I, I think it was somebody. Basically, what this is is the equivalent of, I don't know, the same shit. Every major fucking newspaper ever does. Let me show you real quick. I'm from San Francisco. I'm from San Francisco. Just check URL. Oh. 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 Yeah. All right. Let me just show you what's, what, what every major newspaper ever does. Here's what you should vote for. 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 This is not a fucking new thing. This is not a new thing. Telling people who you recommend to vote for. By the way, nobody finds this website unless they listen to our shows. Nobody finds this website unless they listen to our shows. Good news. We have a nice cheat sheet for you. Yay. All right. So here you go. You click on it and then you read this on the side here and then you pick all these shows that we've recommended for you. Yeah. Okay. That seems like this seems nefarious. Wow. Who would do such a thing as to recommend? Those to vote for what? All right. So anyway, here's the PCA ha uh, hashtag. Okay. I vote we use PCA. Okay. Whoever gets the most votes won't be president. Give the little guy a chance. That's a great tweet right there. Yeah, it was purposely designed not to autofill. Yeah, you literally have to then go click and then decide who wins. I don't know that the piece has clout to generate a scandal. <laughs> a kerfuffle? Maybe a harumphing? But a scandal? <laughs> a bit too grand. Nice, Gene Francis. I like that guy. All right. Oh, Jesus. All right. Now, last thing I'll point out is, uh, so there, there was apparently somebody who, who, you know, brought all this to their attention. Here he is. Oh God. He's menacing. Oh man. Got a gold tooth Dodgers fan. I also fucking hate him already. And he's, uh, a post apparent, a host apparently of the awesome hour podcast. Now, I wonder why this guy would be so pissed. Hmm. Oh shit, he's the only one with the balls to say it. What? This guy has balls, son. Oh my god. Alright, well, let's see. Is this guy nominated for something? I'm curious. Awesome. Let's see, where's awesome at? Oh, here it is. He's nominated for mature. Oh, but he didn't win. His jury won. Huh. Huh, this guy has the balls to lose and then bitch and moan about it. That's some serious balls on that guy right there. Man, if I ever met that guy in a dark alley, I'd be afraid of his balls. Because they are clearly mighty. They are some mighty, mighty balls. <laughs> here's, here's a tweet. Whatever. Pfft. Check myself seriously. Pfft. Oh man. I really hope me and uh Ivan here never run into each other because man, his balls would clearly wreck mine. My balls are nowhere near as amazing as his balls. <sighs> Alright. Anyway. So there you go. That shit happened. I encourage all of you guys to uh, never give any more shits about the podcast awards ever because it is clearly not designed 
to benefit the podcasting community at all. And this is the thing. Frog Pants, Diamond Club, A Move. We have been we have been consistently putting content out for years. This is nothing new. And we support every other podcast ever. We do not shit on other podcasts. We've never done that. We fucking love other podcasts. We love that everyone's doing this. This the fact that so many people are doing this is amazing. What we really need, if we're going to have any award ceremony or any award anything involved with podcasts, we need to have one that's legitimate and actually cares about the podcast community and awards the people who win the awards and doesn't fucking decide to put themselves in the middle of things and make decisions for everyone. We're all making podcasts. This isn't a big, huge thing. Where like tons and tons of money is coming in, and we're all fucking rich. Some people who are already rich are getting richer from podcasting. There is a lot of people out there just putting the work in, man. Putting the fucking work in. And when we actually motivate our listening audience to do something, we do not deserve to then get vilified for that. So if you get butt hurt because you didn't win some bullshit award that means nothing, I'm fucking sorry. Your balls are apparently too big for your head, man. So just shut the fuck up and everyone just stop. Just We'll just, you know what? Here, next year for the 12th annual podcast awards, we'll just go ahead and fucking just not participate. All right? So there you go. Congratulations. Congratulations. You kicked out all the people who actually fucking made your thing a thing. Cool. Good job. All right, let's play some fucking Hearthstone. 